what's going on guys welcome back to elite dangerous with commander guild Curran. so today it's been a while since i've been on the game um i just recently got back into it a uh, buddy of mine and myself and another buddy from work have started playing this game and just having a blast with it however they're my buddy um, commander zod trollton had wanted to become a miner or create a mining ship so I'm creating this video this short video uh, to show him how to successfully make a basic mining ship which you can build from um, the ship that I've chosen to show you is uh, the adder which is a pretty much a, a low-cost ship to start out with mining I'm just going to go over the hard points, um, what modules I have installed right now. I don't have a lot of money, um, however, this will be a, a, a medium process to get money um, with mining. So what are my hard points? Let's start there. Uh, I have a class 2 mining laser with a medium hard point. That allows me to break through asteroids and collect the little bits and bobs that fall off the asteroid uh, by means of my cargo scope instead of using collector limpets so that we're going to do it the old-fashioned way we're actually going to physically collect it ourselves uh, and I also have two small hard points they're class points they come with the ship I never changed them um, they're both fixed I'm not going to be doing a lot of fighting with these however if I want to which I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can change these to gimbaled I prefer gimbaled over um, fixed weapons just because it allows me to be a little more agile with my ship than having to be right behind a ship. doesn't make you any better than other people, but I prefer to have this just because it makes it easier for myself to pilot and I'm actually going to change these to power slayers since I have a pretty large power supply. So now these are gimbal mounts. I also switched it to burst laser, so I have a little bit of defense if I have to, but it's not going to be enough to get me out of trouble unless it's smaller ships such as an eagle. I might be able to outmaneuver it with this ship, and I can use the mining laser to actually tear through the shield if I needed to. So let's get out of hard points. Let's go to utility mounts. Currently I don't have any utility mounts. I would recommend getting a... Um, the... show ya... Um, the shield boosters. You could stack those, which will increase your the strength of your shield while it's active. Just in case you get into a fight and you're trying to run away, you want to increase those shields. So let's go to our core internals. Now I haven't messed around with this too much. The only thing I really wanted to bulk up was my power plant. It starts out with an E power plant, a class 3 E power plant. I increased it to an A to give me a higher range of power output. That way I can focus mainly on my mining uh, gun or laser to mine the asteroids a little quicker. I also increased my power distributor to distribute power. Um, that comes in handy. And everything else is just stock, so I haven't changed too much on that. Let's go ahead and to optional internals. Now this is where you really want to pay attention. So you have in the adder two class three slots, two class two slots, and two class one slots. We typically have a discovery scanner. Go ahead and get rid of that. That's under the class one where my cursor is currently at. Get rid of that cell. You don't need it. You want to go ahead and put a cargo rack there. Class two, you want to put a cargo rack there. And you start out with a, a three class shield generator. I went ahead and got a two D class shield generator. Just because, like I said, this is not a combat ship, we turned it into a mining ship, so this is going to help us um, have at least a shield, but most of our power is going to a refinery, which I'm going to talk about next, and a mining laser, so why take up room when you don't really, you're not going to be using it to fight with. Alright, so we'll move on to our refinery. I have a class 3 refinery, and this class... So I currently have 
this one installed, a class 3, and I have a class 3C. Now you can get a class 2 to get a bin count of 6, and what that allows you to do is as you're mining, these bits and bobs are breaking off the asteroid and you're collecting them in your fuel or your cargo hold, they actually make their way into the refinery. And so what the refinery does is it breaks down these bits, you collect multiple bits until you get one ton of that bit and it'll be one piece of cargo. So cargo is important, make sure you have as much cargo space as you can. Um, but the bins allow you to separate more than... Typically if you, you pick up one piece or a fragment off an asteroid, which I'll show you here in a moment, um, where this bin count comes in handy. Uh, but I spend a cheaper amount on a 3C than if I were to buy a 2A and get the same bin count. Um, I think it's about a million for a 2A class refinery, where with the 3C refinery, I think I spent maybe a hundred thousand. So there's a big difference there. You can finagle it how you want, but that's how I went, went about it. So it saved me a little bit of money, and I'll discuss more about the bin count once we actually go out and find some. Let's go back. Let's see, so we talked about cargo. We got cargo. You can get rid of the planetary approach suite if you wanted to. I would just keep it. I wouldn't mess with it. Um, but I did get a class 3 cargo wreck, which gives me 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is my cargo space. So that's the amount. I got 14 tons of cargo that I can carry. So that's everything that I have on my ship currently. I've already selected the... Uh, out of here for a second. I've already selected my fire groups. I put my burst lasers at secondary and I per oh, I can't speak today. I put my <laughs> mining laser for uh, primary um, weapon. So under your inventory you should see refinery. So it says a hopper is empty at the moment. Now I have six hoppers. I know it doesn't make too much sense, but if you look, it says empty all the way down the board there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. What that means is I can break down six pieces of material as I'm collecting these material and getting a one ton piece of that material, it becomes one ton in my cargo. So that's how that works. <laughs> um, so functions right now, I don't have anything really deployed other than the fact that I'm at a station and we're going to go ahead and take off by the way, the name of my ship is Dig It. So can you dig it? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and launch. I'm going to pause this, and then when I come to an asteroid belt or a uh, gas planet, I will unpause the video and we'll jump right into mining. Okay, guys? So hang tight. Bear with me. It's going to be a short pause. You won't even see it. Alright guys, welcome back after the pause there. So I launched out of the station. I found a planet that has a resource extraction site. So here's a little trick. You don't necessarily have to go to the resource extraction site. If you go there, there's going to be pirates that are there. And you also have to worry about other ships around you mining and getting in your way. So what you can do is... Now, I may lose frame right here when I actually go to drop out. But if you go to the rings, which I'm doing right now. If you go slow enough, and you head towards them, you don't want to be doing this fast, because when you actually break out, it'll stop you and damage your hull, so slow down and boom, dropping out. 
my uh, flying off this asteroid here. We're gonna collect those here momentarily. All right, so now we have bits and bobs flying in the air. I'm gonna go ahead and target those. So there's hydrogen. All right, so now that we have that, I wanna go ahead and open the cargo deployed. We're gonna aim at it and start flying towards it. Let's go over to our systems menu here. We're going to go to inventory, go to our refinery. Now, if you notice, we have two pieces that already jumped in to our hopper. So we don't have to decide what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. Okay? So we're going to continue mining, and you'll see these fill up. Like I said, I got a six bin hopper. Once I get a seventh piece, it'll ask me if I want to keep Scan it detected. or change it. So we'll continue gathering our little resources that we already picked off the one. Let's go ahead and retract our particles here and find those other bits that we shot off in the air. So this has... Notice if you hover just barely over the top of it, you'll be able to grab these suckers a little bit easier. There we go. Now keep in mind you have to target these nodes. You can't just willy nilly grab them. Still collecting the same thing. Once those get to one, then we have one ton of material. Let's aim back down here and collect some more. Gotta watch out for that asteroid right there. It's kind of in my way.
So right now, our inventory, let's see what we have in cargo. We don't have anything in cargo yet. We got about 69% lithium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. We're at 43%. So we'll keep digging it up, digging it up. Once I get a ton, I'll unpause the video and show you what it looks like. Alright, guys, stand by. Alright, guys, welcome back. So, I've been mining here for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Not too long, but here's what I got so far. I got one hydrogen peroxide, which galactic average is 917. I got two lithium hydroxides, which are 5,646 apiece, and methane clarate which is 629. Now that's just an average, and I only got four pieces. So it took me a, a pretty decent amount of, amount of time to, uh, to get that. So I'm gonna pause this, jump out, go back to the station I was heading to, which is Jeffrey's board, if you guys are wondering. Um, and see how much money we actually physically make at this point. That's literally right, right across from the station. Welcome this to this Imperial facility. We are delighted to receive you. So, just keep that in mind. Go ahead and request docking. Permission has been approved. Please continue to bay 36. Just get lined up here. And if you're new to docking at stations, another thing is. Make sure you go on the green side. you like to do. This game can get repetitive. Um, you can change it up, and especially if you're playing with friends, it makes the game more enjoyable. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and refuel. And we're gonna go to commodities market. And let's just see how much we can sell. So hydrogen peroxide here. And they have a high demand. I can sell it for 820 here. Oh, oops. Let's, uh, oops. I only had one. So let's go ahead and submit. I'm selling for 820 credits. Uh, let's see.
So this is our money maker right here, this lithium hydroxide. There's a lot of those out there. Um, so that's 6,000 right there. myself I love doing bounties so the next video that I put out is probably gonna be how to set up a, sh a decent ship to bounty hunt with um, the Diamondback Scout is probably a really good one as well as um, Vulture and the Eagle is actually pretty decent too for starter um, but yeah that guys that's it that's how you mine the bigger the ship, the bigger your lasers, the quicker it's going to be. If you have Prospect uh, limpets, you can shoot those out, pros prospect the Nashroid, and it'll tell you what's in it before you actually start mining, so you don't have to like, waste your time collecting stupid stuff. And there's also the control limpets, which you can actually shoot out, so those bits and fragments that are flying off as I was mining, instead of me driving to catch every one of them, you can increase your time of gathering by getting those, and they'll collect them for you. So guys, Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you have more questions, leave a comment below. But please feel free to subscribe, and I'll hopefully come out with more videos. Alright, guys, take it easy.